Are we there? Are we working? Hello, hello, hello. Test, test, one, two, three. Did YouTube notify you guys? Welcome to the live chat. Um, this is the Daily Crypto Mining Show. I do it Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I do have a question for people that are watching this either live or after the fact. Uh, did YouTube notify you of my video or live stream and which one and how close or far away from 10 p.m. did it notify you? Um, just uh, just wondering. Um, so it looks like nope. Some of them said yes, both, evening. Awesome, because I, I posted this one super early, uh, about five hours early. So I didn't want to be a bother with it showing up like super early, but I just... See, some people just got notified now. I don't know what that is. 30 minutes and 30 seconds ago. Bit9K's got the squirrel miner link. Well, uh, Bit9K, send me the squirrel miner link and we'll check it out. Everybody, welcome to the live show. Welcome to the crypto show, whatever you want to call it. I'm Brandon Coin. I am your host for, wait, no, I'm Brandon I, and I am your host on Brandon Coin. Whatever, I already botched it. Uh, if you clicked on this video and you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you want to hear about some of these these i9 9900K F chips, um, basically um, from PC Magazine earlier today, uh, they're a GPU less uh, Intel Core, so they're gonna get the F suffix and just not just the 9900K, but it looks like the whole family, the 9700K, the 9600K, and they're gonna be. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. It's gonna be the the 9900KF and the 9700KF and the 9600KF. Like, you know, for to me, it so, it sounds less than stellar. Um, bit 9k thank you for that link link we will check it out there brother <laughs> are you sure you're Brandon he looks a lot less sketchy sorry guys I got my got my black hoodie on it's a little cold in the house I fired up some stuff I was actually doing a, a little skit earlier um, trying to be funny I know I'm not funny but uh, I was uh, looking for what coins you know are run a little hotter and um, I found me a good hot coin to mine literally and figuratively like it literally kicks off some heat uh, so I've switched uh, a couple of, or well I switched a whole rig over to it um, to try to pump some extra heat in the house because I am heating my house 100% off of um, mining rigs let me um, let me close my door girlfriend's got like the TV blaring Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ethereum in two weeks will heat you up nicely. I've heard that the uh, the Prog POW is a hot, hot algorithm to mine. Cucumber pickle, it went really well. I'll be uh, I'll I'll definitely be reviewing that and showing that off here soon. The new software. Cucumber Pickle still won't benchmark ETH on Kudo Miner. I actually message, or I need you to message me back on um, Discord. Uh, I had some of the Kudo guys in, and they wanted to know just the specifics of your situation. But, um, you know, we'll talk about that later off the stream. James Cook, she is not your girlfriend anymore. Yes, fiance, fiance. They got engaged. Yes, they did. Yeah, we did. Um, we we are uh, we're a thing now, you know, thing. Anyway. Um, so, but uh, if you want to check out this um, this link here, let me let me get that out of the way. If you want to check out the uh, the PC Mag link for the the F series chips, basically they were focusing on the fact that they're not going to get a price cut. Uh, so Intel's basically taking a feature off of these gra or off of these CPUs and not cutting the price. They're going to be the same exact price as their their um, iGPU counterparts, which. Uh, all Intel chips up until this point, like mainstream Intel chips had an in integrated graphics. Um, but I guess they're cutting some of those off. There is speculation. I was talking to some of the guys in the Discord chat, some of the like overclocking guys that the ones that don't have an iGPU, um, some people are thinking that, okay, these are ones that failed production. And then other guys are thinking, oh, they're leaving these off and you may be able to squeeze more power out of it. You know, it may be able to take more power more overclocking that kind of thing i don't know um 
I don't know which way that would actually lean, but uh, you know, an i9 9900KF still just does not roll off the tongue. These are the abbreviations are getting uh <laughs> Technical says I'm getting the gravy boat off the wedding registry. Nobody else get that. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Technicals, though. Thank you, bro. We got a lot of the regulars in the chat tonight. I'm glad to see that it actually uh, notified some people because it was a little lonely the other night. I had like ten people in there. So we got Yajnik. What's up, Yajnik? Sonia Near, Zar420, Nefarious Fool, Bitcoin Jake. Good evening, Brandon. What did I miss? We were just talking about these uh, these Intel chips that are not coming with integrated graphics anymore. It's going to be throughout the whole lineup. They're not going to be any cheaper. Uh, some people have speculated higher performance out of them uh, in the aftermarket overclocking sector, but they're not going to actually perform any better um, from the factory, and they're not going to be any cheaper. So, yay, Intel. <laughs> yay. Ace K, Mark, what's up, guys? No, no nefarious fool, no puppies. No puppies, okay? Uh, negative, negative Ghost Rider. Uh, actually, just a little bit of a side note here. We we just signed on um, a new house, and it's getting it's under construction now. Uh, so it'll be done in I think three months, a little over three months. They're they're clearing it right now. They're gonna put the foundation in, all that kind of stuff. But I'll have a new office for doing YouTube, and hopefully I'll be able to lay it out better uh, than like this messiness or whatever. Get dogs to avoid the itch for babies. We already have dogs. We have dogs. We have cats. We have everything. <laughs> yeah, congrats. Yeah. Intel pulled an NVIDIA. They're just charging you for less. Savage Mind, welcome. And uh, guys, there. Un unnecessary plug. Savage Mind, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube. Every single day if you need more crypto in your life. Frankie, two times. Welcome to the chat. All right, let's jump over to the market. Just check it out. See what we're working with. Ooh, look at all this green. Green, green, green for days. Three, three, four percent, seven percent. What's that? EOS. We EOS on up seven percent. If you got some of that, that's cool. Ethereum, nine percent. We're almost back up to where we fell down from like a week ago. Cool beans. Thirty-seven hundred dollar Bitcoin. One hundred and twenty-nine dollar Ethereum. Thirty-two dollar Litecoin. Monero is at forty-five ninety, and Ethereum Classic at four dollars thirty-seven cents. Um, let's always we gotta always check on our Ether One brothers at one point two two cents. Um, still holding in strong in the one cent category. Let's see here. Don't forget Red Panda Mining YouTube channel too. Hey y'all, man, the whole team is here. Yes, Red Panda Mining, good guy. Gotta go check him out. He's gonna teach me how to do some awesome video things. So that way, you know, you guys can see more of my beautiful face. Um, actually, you probably wouldn't want to see that. But anyway, it's happening anyway. So shout out to Red Panda Mining on YouTube. Uh, awesome, awesome production quality uh, on a very new small channel. But he's not going to be small for long. The only people still watching crypto are all the other crypto YouTubers. It's so true. It's so true. Uh, I did want to check on Aeon. As you will see, um, that's uh, that's one of the new the new mines or more more stuff that I'm mining 13.2 cents doing pretty decent what about Nerva it's been a couple days Nerva's at 3.8 cents Nerva still fell hard but they came up another 20 percent I'm nervous I, I might need to uh no more Nerva I haven't really doing a lot of Nerva but still I have some I hit a couple blocks on it look at this look at this. all these crypto youtubers red panda technical savage we just need some more people to jump in the space. Anyway, let's check out the graphics cards. Oh, it's green. Imagine that. The market's green. The graphics cards are green. Um, if you'll notice, I got my 1063 gig rig up and going. They are mining Aeon. Um, that is going to be the upcoming video showing y'all uh, that those hot algorithms to mine. I actually was cranking the power up on those 1060s and overvolting them. Um, and they were running, they were running warm and literally just to get squeeze extra, um, extra heat out of them because it wasn't really pushing much more performance out of it. But, uh, still, um, doing 25 cents, almost keeping up with the, uh, 1066 gigs doing 27 cents a day, uh, mining Ethereum. Uh, and this is, this is not nine sols. I don't, I don't know why that's, that's there. I'll get the sols on that next time, but it's not nine. Um, 
what else do we got here notable mentions 1080 ti doing 69 cents a day still not much <laughs> um the ant miner actually had a little bit of a bobble in this 24 hour period it went down for a little bit so i think it actually could have been doing better than a dollar 32 a day uh but we won't know till tomorrow um but yeah it went off for a little while i actually thought the power supply or something had died because i was like unplugging it and trying it and uh come to find out it had just kicked a breaker i don't know why it was sharing um a breaker with the uh 1060 rig i didn't think it was going to be an overload on power but i guess it was evidently um so yeah if you're new and you're wondering how to actually read this uh, this is one of each and every single different graphics card this is what they're actually making so if you wanted a realistic idea um of what the card's making or or not making in this time period uh which is uh january 14 2019 um, it goes graphics card percentage of change in 24 hours what it's making in fiat today what it's making in fiat yesterday the algorithm or coin it's mining the average speed that the card is getting and then the satoshi value per day that it's earning because it's all about the satoshis Whew. That was a mouthful. Spartan Mining, can I be a mod? You're already a mod. Look at that. More crypto YouTubers. Crypto Z, welcome, man. I know it's always hard for Crypto Z to, to tune in because he is like on the other side of the pond, right? Where are you from, Crypto Z? Bit9K, if you stop mining Nerva, TurtleCoin mines good on CPU. It's like a fun Monero with future light smart contracts. You know what? I may pull. Um, I have a Ryzen 3 that I was letting it um, chug away on Nerva. I may pull off of Nerva and just try Turtle just for the heck of it. Somebody said the other day they wanted me to do some Turtle Coin too. Sony Near smashing the, the like button. Thank you for that. Nub, I want a wrench. Nub, you, you'd be dangerous with a wrench. Nefarious Fool, lol, I need to get a copy from of that from you on the Discord. Will do. Frankie two times, Crypto Z, the Swedish king. Yes, Sweden. I know. What what time is it in Sweden right now? Little little uh little squirrel moment right here. Sweden time now. It's 4 a.m. What are you doing awake right now, Crypto Z? Did you just get up? Are you get are you getting up for work early? I hope you're not up from yesterday or whatever. Oh my gosh, need to get some sleep, bro. I mean, I'm one to talk. I, I stay awake all day. All right, what drivers are you using for RX 580? All right, let's go back to that. So this RX 580, actually all these AMD cards are running on Simple Miner. So I'm running whatever drivers that Simple Miner uh, uses. And I'm not exactly sure. I believe Simple Miner, <coughs> I believe Simple Miner is using the blockchain drivers. I just don't know. Uh, Simple Miner is an operating system, a Linux operating system, SMOS, um, and it makes it simple. It installs the drivers for you. You just put in what you want to mine, what miner you want to use. Boom, simple. I've done a couple videos on it. Other guys have done videos. Easy, easy peasy. Watching Brandon with Crypto Z. Thank you for watching me, man. Even though it is four in the morning. Nefarious is running 19.1.1. That's the ones that just came out, what, like uh, two day, three days ago, I think? I was looking at the drivers this morning. If I'm correct, it installs the latest drivers each time one is released. Thank you for that, Spartan Mining. Insomnia runs well in this group. Yes, there's a bit of insomnia in here. Now, I want to lead on to the next thing. Um, I did a video the other day talking about those RAM modules, which are the remote access management modules and then people were like oh what about server power supplies and i guess i haven't talked about server power supplies in a while um but by far one of the best deals short of just buying on ebay and waiting for it to like ship across the um you know the ocean is uh buying through parallel miner they're doing a sale they have been doing a sale now for a while uh they're actually down to 72 in stock last time i was looking on here they had like over a couple hundred but 35 dollars gets you a 750 watt uh gold uh, server power supply and this power supply comes with 10 six pin to eight well it's they're there's six pin on the breakout board side and then there's six plus two which is the eight pin on the actual like
graphics card or, or riser side. Uh, but these being server power supplies, you can run them at like 90% efficiency, no issues. Whereas like an ATX, people are like, oh, don't run it over over 80%. Uh, but it's actually been proven uh, these are, all right, yeah, 92%. Bam, look at that. 92%. This ain't no 80 plus rated, 92% rated. Spartan, yes, but you remember my name, so I did my job. All right. Spartan uh, Vivcrypt, only 750 watt at 220 volt. It's actually Vivcrypt, it's 750 watt at 110 or 240 volt. Um, personally tested. I have personally pulled uh, 700 watts out of this thing at regular just 110. Yes, that is cheap. Um, and if you're interested in getting one of those, I have an, or not an Amazon affiliate link, I have a parallel miner affiliate link down below in the description. Proud to say that, finally, down below there in the description. So if you want one, uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you use that link, it helps me out. And when you help me out, I help you out, and we keep the, we keep it all going. You know what I'm saying? It's 92% at 240. What's it at 110? 90%? I don't know. 80%? 70%? Let's see here. Um, I don't know. It says 80 plus gold, 92%. But its efficiency is all the way up at 240. You should slide your picture down when you point down. Hold on. Hold on. I, I have a thing that lets me do change stuff like that down <laughs> yeah d down here all right hold on i need to i need to push myself back up there we go okay we're back up watts will always be the same on all voltages but the amps will vary crypto z thank you for that i'm definitely nothing to do with electrical that kind of stuff i just know if you ain't get the power then you ain't good to go because you got to be good to go. Uh, thank you for everybody that is following on Twitter. And if you do want to follow on Twitter, I'll try to keep you up to date. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not a, a power Twitter user. But there are some power Twitter users. And some of them are in the chat right now. Uh, being Savage Mind, Technicals, those guys. Even Red Panda Mining is starting to be a regular on Twitter. I'm going to try to post every day. Just letting you know what's going on with the videos. That kind of thing. So if you want to follow me, it's at BrandonCoin1. Make sure to include the one at the end because the other guy is not me. And yeah, I tried to already get that account from him and he doesn't want to give it up. So it is what it is. Uh, yeah. All right. Now let's bring this back up on the screen and let's catch up with the live chat because I cannot keep up. Let's see here. Frankie two times. Watts never change. Amp will kill you. Voltage won't. Pandas aren't red. Nub, that is well said. Pandas are not red. Sonya Near, I also checked too. Ace K said, do rig of the day. Okay, yeah, we'll see if we have any uh, rig of the day, that Gillette video. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. Red Panda Mining, oh my day, that's a Discord discussion. I also check Twitter every day. Sonya Near is, is the real MVP. All right, I did want to check this out. Actually, who sent me this? Bit 9K, I believe. What is this? <laughs> All right, uh, apples and ba nay nay nays. Op apples and ba nay nay nays. All right, let's uh, we'll take the spaces out of this. Well, that didn't work. What's what's wrong here? Oh, there's a space right there. Um. It's almost squirrel miner. Nineteen years, eleven months, sixteen days, thirteen hours, thirty-nine minutes. Is this counting down? What is this? Is 
It's almost, oh, it's supposed to be like a joke thing. 20 years? Sorry, Game of Thrones coming out soon. Been watching a lot of Game of Thrones stuff. Nefarious Fool. <laughs> Technical's brilliant, yeah. Bitcoin Jake said, so I had off today and decided to sit at home and work for myself and code all day. I actually feel pretty accomplished from it. Bitcoin Jake, what have you been coding on? Can you tell us? Can you let us know? Red Panda Mining. Oh, Squirrel Miner, forgot about that. Has anyone heard rumors about it yet? Still nothing going on. It's uh, it's coming. It's coming soon. So, <laughs> yeah, um, it's coming soon. That's all we know. Uh, with that being said, let me close out that 20-year timer because we're not going to wait on that to go down. Sonia Near, this month I will be helping out the donation in February 1st. All right. Um, the what is the donation in February first? Frankie, two times. Yeah, you got it right. Soon with a lot of O's. Bitcoin Jake said just my Minecraft server code mods to set oak pressure plate teleport points to help players get around map to towns and things. Bitcoin Jake, there's actually a guy in the Discord that could probably use a little bit of your help. Uh, I don't know if he's got a lot of money for you know paying for coding, but. Um, he might have a little bit. Maybe you could work out a deal back and forth. Um, his name is The Man. He was working on just a, a little project, like a little test coin to get it up and going. Um, and I didn't think about you, but you're definitely the guy that could probably get him going. Sonia Near for your show. Oh, Sonia Near, you definitely don't have to donate. This just in. Toyota Supra launching summer 2019. Now. Can you guys hear that? It, seem, it seems a little low for me, but I don't know how to turn the volume up on it. Um, Spartan Mining, thank you for the $5 and the AAA apples and bananas. And Spartan Mining, thank you for the other $5 with the Toyota Supra 2019 pre-order now. Um, I'm a little nervous about the, the new Supras. They look good. Um, I just, will it have the supercar heritage and feel? Maybe, maybe not. It never was a supercar. People kind of made it into that. It was kind of like just a, a sports car. I don't know. A Toyota putting super on the name. I don't know. We'll see. Red Panda Mining. I will purchase an Acorn once I see Squirrel Miner actually working. I think that's what a lot of people are going to do, uh, Red Panda Mining. So these Acorns potentially could be worth a lot of money uh, if... Squirrel Miner drops and then like supply and demand goes way out of whack and everybody wants one um, or you know the other way around but we're not going to talk about that because hopefully they have something going on let's see here it's 345 turbocharged in line six it's going to be fine and I'm going to get it Spartan Mining are you trading in the um the the Subi Doo or you're just going to add it to the fleet Sonia Near, I feel it's necessary because without it, the mining show, I would be lost. Well, Sonia Near, any and all donations, always appreciated, uh, but never never required. This is a free show, and it's going to stay a free show for at least another 24 hours. Can't, can't promise anything after that. So, <laughs> yeah. Bit 9K, wait for 2020, never buy first year of new model. Red Panda Mining says, yeah, the Toyota Supra with the legendary inline six reliability will be pretty sick. It's a Supra. Bitcoin Jake, they should have made the body look exactly the same as the 96s Supras. I don't think people could handle legit remade brand new Supras. It would just it would break it would break the internet right now. Tim H with 300 hash coin coming in hot. That's that that's that hot new coin. What block are you on Tim H right now on that new coin? Technicals wasn't the appeal, the customization and aftermarket parts. The technicals, the yes, the biggest appeal was um, the rock solid, reliable, overbuilt uh, motor and the uh, the customization and aftermarket parts. So depending on how this motor is set up and how much power it can hold and people can pull out of it with the uh, stock bottom end, that's what a two JZ is known for, you know. Mark IV Supra 2JZ, like stock bottom end, is just godly. Like, like there's very, very few um, production cars that get shipped out with a stock bottom end that can hold two, three times 
the stock horsepower levels and just be fine and put up with it. We're we're getting we're getting over into this is turning into a car car debate now or a car not a debate but a a, a car channel. Tim H is on block five of Hashcoin. Hmm. So it's still very very fresh. Red Panda Mining. Bitcoin Jake would get the ninety sixes so fast. Yup. At Bitcoin Jake, I don't care what they have to change the look of things. It was a great car. Why not make it the same? Eh, everything's got to change. Bitcoin Jake can't stay the same. The technicals base 2019 Supra 40 grand. So good trim for 60, 65,000. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go look at the Supra. Uh, guys that hate cars and don't want to talk about cars. Thank you for watching the channel. Please make sure to leave a like and a thumb or, you know, thumbs up and a comment on the way out. If you do like cars, let's, let's, let's delve on into this. My fiance, because she's not my girlfriend anymore, actually works at a Toyota dealership. So uh, I'm going to try to get her to talk her into like if they have an automatic model because she won't drive a manual, even though I've like let her ruin the clutch on a multiple of my manual cars and try to learn how to, she's not going to drive one home. Um, but if they have an automatic one, I'll be like, drive it home, please. And she'll be like, I hate them because she, she hates little cars. Um Car and driver, 13 hours ago. This is a motor nub stream. It's turned into a motor nub stream. Um, oh, that, that is one thing that I, uh, guys, um, if you do like streaming or whatever, um, the new house, I am getting a little small uh, garage with it. So I would love to actually do some car streams and like some late night uh, car hangout sessions, whatever. I don't know. Um, I love doing it on the crypto side of things. I'd love to do it on the car side of things too. It's a 3.0 inline straight six. I mean, they look good. They kind of look like, like a man's BRZ, you know, like a manly BRZ. Look at that. Holy smokes, they look nice. It comes in paddle shift. They're all going to be automatic paddle shifters. Whoa, I didn't know that. What's going to happen to mining ETH after the fork? Chance Montgomery. Oh, Chance, this, this is this is devolved out of a crypto stream. But um, after the fork, it's going to go, I don't know. What is going to happen? Somebody more educated than me, what's going to happen after the fork with our ETH? All right, so let's go. Let's go to. What if I wanted to pre-order? Where can we pre-order them at? Can we pre-order them online? Them hipsta. Hi from Macedonia, Seco Pipai Pepe. Hi from uh, the U.S. Welcome, Mr. Macedonians. Or Mrs. Macedonians. Technical says paddles are for video games. If there's no risk of missing a gear and blowing the tranny, it's no fun. Oh, goodness. All right, so here we go. Pricing for the 2020 Supra. Base trim, 49990 Premium, 53000 Launch edition, 55250 uh, it's got an optional driver assist package for all trims, navigation and JBL audio, $2,400. Um, 335 horsepower, 365 foot-pounds of torque, made it to an 8-speed automatic transmi transmission with racing-style paddle shifters. Um, absolutely 100% a bad move for them not to offer a manual version. Even if it's a glass transmission, like a crappy manual transmission that's nothing special like a five speed they should have they should have offered it they really should have they they so should have offered a uh, a manual paddle shift like a lamborghini well we just so happens we have a lamborghini owner in the chat and he does not like the paddle shifters uh nefarious well the asics are going to keep mining pre-fork and the GPU is going to do post work, and it's going to be a mess. Nefarious fool, I believe you are are correct. Hopefully, the ASICs don't jump on and like ruin all the other F hash algorithms. But it is what it is. 
fifty four thousand out of my budget. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit much for it. Like a two door coupe with a turbo on it with a three point oh turbocharged inline six cylinder. It seems like a, a bit much. It's basically it's a hopped up. It's a hopped up. Um, they're going BRZ or FRS, whatever you want to call them. Toyota 86. Red Panda Mining. The technicals. I had a 94 Mustang V8. Blew the engine. Head gas. You like two times. Bad luck there. Ace K. How many coins are forking this January? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. A couple of them. Nub. Didn't the 90s Supra make more horsepower? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Supra. Mark. Or horsepower. Toyota Super Wikipedia. Spartan paid forty for the Subi. Yeah, that's true. It is true. All right. So fourth generation. Power output was anywhere from two hundred and seventy-six to three hundred and twenty-six horsepower. So technically. This being 335, yes, some of the, I think it was the twin turbo models, were had more horsepower than the brand new ones. Hmm, yeah. I will own a Mercy Lago before the, I die, that's a fact. Sonya Near, it's always good to have goals, definitely. The technicals, Red Panda Mining invented some as seen on TV gadget or something I'm going to get to the bottom of this he is a baller that's for sure well it's obvious he killed pandas <laughs> but that's why they're red and sold them <laughs> I like all these conspiracy theories popping up sup guys secret recipe this has devolved out of a uh, crypto stream and we're now talking about the new Supra do you have any opinions on it, Mr. Secret Recipe? Let's look at some pictures. See, when I see it like this, it, it like the front of it kind of reminds me of like a BMW like Z series car. You know what I'm talking about? Um, like this this fender line um, up front. I see a little bit of like FRS, like Alfa Romeo in, inspired mid grill. Um, there's a lot going on here. There's a, like a they they just like slammed a bunch of cars together when they were when they were doing this. Um, on the side, they tried to do like the the Supra like uh, side scoop thing. Uh, I'd say it, it probably works on this car. Uh, I don't know why they did it so like long and swooping the supras was kind of like tighter and like it, it came down to like a funnel point almost um yeah that was this like that was one of the prototypes see definitely like more aggressive and then and then it ended up like this still not bad it's a good looking car it's just a lot of rounded lines a lot of rounded lines which i mean that's what a super was back in the day it was nothing but a big like swoop uh let's see here colin what's up brz looks like yeah it does look like a brz technical says alpha looking sort of yes yeah definitely it's it's got some like alpha stuff in the front end going on um Let's see if we can look at the back of it. What's the back of it look like? Okay, that's an awesome picture right there. Let's. Okay, so the back of it. Yeah, see this, the, okay. Um, the hatch or whatever, it's not even a hatch. This is a trunk car. Um, it looks like it should be a hatch though at first, at first glance. Uh, this whole like top trunk line or body line up here where it like really is defined where the rear fenders are and they meet into it i swear that looks like um like the bmw z coupes i think you said it like z8s or whatever I, like 
right in this area, I swear that it just feels like that's ripped off of his the BMW catalog. Now, of course, this like rear um, trunk mounted spoiler thing that they got going on. Uh, it, it feels kind of super -y, but where's where's the big whale tail? We need the whale wing. The bigger the wang, the more she going to sang. Like, where is it? That is that is not enough to satisfy true Supra peoples. Bit 9K says it looks like an 86 plus an Audi plus an IS Lexus. Spartan Mining says, I mean, I like it, so that's all that matters if I'm buying it. Yeah, Spartan, if you love it, dude, buy it. I'm gonna be honest. I can't buy one right now. I can't afford it. Good luck. Any uh, good luck says anyone mining Z coin. I don't know if anybody's mining Z coin in here. Red Panda Mining. Yeah, looking at it more, I feel like it'll just be a Mitsubishi Evo refresh, like a two door Evo. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't really see that one. But um, oh, you're talking about where the older one is still better than the new one. The back end looks like a baby viper. Yeah, I could see I could see a baby viper for sure. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's the prototype. That's the prototype. Now that right there is cool. Like a like a big spoiler that pops up out of the back or something. That is cool. Yeah, that's the prototype. Man, why couldn't we have got that? It's okay. It's okay. If anything, it has a 370Z shell look to it. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Wait a second. This is a this is a BMW right here. Is car and driver calling it looking like a BMW also? That's funny. Um, still probably going to be awesome cars though. They're going to beat me up and down the road, that's for sure. My spoiler pops out every time I feel proud of myself. <laughs> what, what? How fast do you have to go to get the spoiler to pop out there, technicals? I can, def I can kind of see a 370Z look to it, especially that back and top side, Spartan. <laughs> yeah. Sort of looks like the spoiler lifts up. Does this one have a spoiler? All right, hold on. Spoiler. Yeah, that spoiler. See, like this is the prototype picture. Uh, that's not actually what what's the production car. This is the production car. I don't think the production car gets a spoiler. Like a, a like a, a sp not like not a trunk mounted spoiler. Not a was that a duck bill or whatever they want to call it. See, that was the prototype. I don't think the production one has got a spoiler yet. They may add it. It looks like they could definitely add it into that that area right there on top. What about this one? Yeah, no, I don't I don't think it is. GTSR. It doesn't pop out. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh, you don't have a spoiler that pops on you. Red Panda Mining kind of has an RX-8 feel. It's definitely, it take, this. I feel like this car is definitely inspired by a lot of other cars like jammed together. Now, okay, from this profile right here, I don't know if this is the, I don't know if this is the production car or not. Yeah, I think it is. Wait. Okay. All right, this side right here, this angle right here makes this car look, bam, that is the angle. That's the, like every car has its angle. For this car, this angle right here kills it. Secret recipe, you know what does pop out. Oh uh, yeah, I'm making jokes. Nefarious Fool, the Tesla Stripe stripped 740 horsepower was sick you guys seen that videos no oh the drag race and tesla yes i have seen those you quiet 
third gear in the Civic. The technical is one of the best streams I've attended. Thanks, host Brandon. Bye. No problem, technicals. Have a good night. Red Panda Mining, have a good one. Bitcoin Jake, bleh. Secret recipe. Can we all just take a minute and pray for the the technicals AMD GPUs. They're those things are gone like the wind. It uses BMW motor. The Toyota Supra is a BMW motor. Motor. Guys, I made mac and cheese right before the stream, and now I have a cold thing of mac and cheese. This is for y'all. I do it for the stream. I didn't even eat a, a not even a bite of it. Um, is it a BMW motor for real? I saw a Dodge Caravan beat a Viper in a drag race once. It's all possible, Secret Recipe. What if I told you that's not really mac and cheese? It is mac and cheese. The European market 2019 BMW Z4 and the global market 2020 Supra share the same BMW 3.0 double overhead cam, 24 valve, twin scroll, single turbo, inline six. Wow, that is a development right there. It's a proper straight six tribute to the five previous Supras. Six if you include this 2000 GT and a perfect successor. This aluminum engine makes 335 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 369 foot-pounds at... 1600 rpm wow it makes all its torque way down low <coughs> <coughs> due to emissions regulations in europe started in 2018 this version of the b58 engine includes soot scrubbing gasoline particulate filters that result in higher exhaust back pressure and lower horsepower production there are, so, there are no such particulate regulations yet in the U.S., so our free-breathing Z4 M40i will get the 382 horsepower motor. Oh, but the, uh, but the Supra doesn't get that? Okay, it looks like first mod for the Supra. Take that off so you can get all your, your horsepower, because we don't need particulate filters. This ain't a diesel. Turned into a Supra stream. Time to play some Brawl Stars, guys. Talk to you later. See your recipe. Have a good one. We will be ending the stream here in a minute or two. Old school. Yeah, old school R RS ad there for the win. Yes, it is. That's what you get for thinking you'd stream and eat cold Mac. Yep, it is. Range Rovers use the same motors. Ooh. Red Panda Mining. Ah, it's the legendary BMW inline six. I mean, those I mean BMW's been known to put out some awesome inline sixes, that's for sure. Peace out, Bitcoin Jake. Alright, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you made it this far, you're a legend. If you're watching the video after the fact, if you're in the live stream, as always, thank you for tuning in. And we will be back Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live in the brandon coin headquarters um bitcoin jake link mastercraft stream link minecraft stream yeah are you streaming right now bitcoin jake drop your stream down below um and some people can jump over to it new episode the new viper <laughs> no good night y'all have a good one appreciate it enjoy it i'll see y'all later if you want to come hang out we will be over in the discord Jump on in. Adios. What are y'all still doing here? You need to go somewhere. You ain't gotta go home. You just gotta get out of here. Get. Get now. Get. You know that don't taste good. No, it's actually pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Alright. Later, guys.
Bye for real. <laughs> There's people still here. Leave. We're watching you eat. Oh, you gotta go. You gotta go. I <laughs> no, I will stay. Alright, later guys for real. Peace out, adios. Tomorrow, 10 p.m. Be there.